Hey folks, it's J.W. Stevens with Stevens Family Outdoors. And this is Saturday, April the 18th. And Monday the 20th opens our spring gobbler in West Virginia. Here, so right now I'm headed down to the farm. Check out the blind. Uh, I'm going to take my recurve with me here. I've got it in the back here I'm going to take a couple shots out of the out of the blind there so that uh, so that I can you know if there are any obstacles or anything in the way go ahead and find them in advance you know that's uh, just the way I like to do things I like to uh, preventive maintenance you might say type of thing on all we can you can't always get them all but uh, I've had my share of problems whenever we were getting ready to take a shot or we did take a shot and deflected off of something so I want to try to eliminate all that I can possibly do uh, while we're down there today plus I'm going to check the blind make sure there's no wind damage or anything like that so um, when I get down there and get set up I'll uh, get back with you here. Yeah, I'll let you see the shot. First shot out of the blind this year. All right, catch you later. Okay, folks, we're down here at the farm now, and I'm going across the field to go back to where the blind is. Um, at the to the right of me right now, and straight ahead of me is um the big woods i thought i saw a turkey back there seeing it's a big woods that they roost in uh when they roost and then when they our blind is right down here at the corner of these two on the inside of the, the woods there other side of the fence when they come out they come out of logging road and hopefully there's a big turkey over there See if I can get this camera out and get him on video. Big gobbler still in the field here at 1.30 in the afternoon. So anyway, they roost back in these uh, woods back here, uh, both sides, and then they come out to this field in the morning to feed uh, grasshoppers and lizards and whatever else. They come out, and when they come out, there's a little logging road, and, and in that logging road, they can see our decoys when they come around the bend and hopefully they'll come over and give me a shot. Yeah, that's a big gobbler over there for sure. That's where we uh, were down there last Saturday and cut that big tree that was on the farmer's fence. Cut it off for him. Okay, folks, we're standing at the... Uh, corner of this big field here there's uh, a big vast woods straight ahead of you there's the fence corner and over to the right another big vast thicket and woods where they roost and that goes down that way our blind is Straight over there, I don't know if you can see it through the bushes or not. But here's the logging road that, that the turkeys come out. Right there. And uh, they come out and either come straight toward me and come under the gate there to uh, go out and field meat, or they see our decoys and come down through there and we get a shot at him as I killed that one 
uh, two years back. Okay, I'm standing here at the gate. You can see the gate. Looking back toward the field, and if you look down, you see all kinds of scratching. This is very exciting news. Down, see all that scratching up here in the corner. All through there. That gets me excited for Monday morning. Okay, folks, here you see the white target. That's where the decoys will be. Uh, that's where I have the best shot from the blind about uh, 12 to 15 yards from the blind. There is the field. Right up here is the corner, and the woods goes that way and back behind me. There's the road area that the turkeys come out of. When they come off the roost, they come out of there to go in the field, and then they can see down this little road. You see the decoys. Hopefully we can call them into them and then back to our right as we're in the blind. You can see the thicket and the big trees there that they roost in. That's about uh, 60 or 100 and some acres back in behind us there at least. And there's the blind. Um, probably close some of these windows down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up and uh, see if I can take a shot from the blind and see how well we can do it. Alright. Okay, folks, we're in the blind. I'm going to take a shot at a target. Out about 12. 12, 15 yards from the blind <clears throat> where the decoys will be Monday morning so what you want to do you want to always make sure you can shoot sitting down I know we always practice or mostly practice standing up so but when you're in a blind like this you're going to be sitting and you're not going to have a chance to move except to draw your bow so make sure you can shoot sitting down and that you have plenty of room for limb clearance on your traditional bow. So here we go. Oh yeah. Right in there. I think this error here was due to a point was making a lot of noise rattling. We'll see here with this shot. Here we go, second shot. Dead turkey. have a repeat of that Monday morning and we'll be just fine. Okay folks. There you have it. There you have it. Um, I probably should have said before I shot that with each arrow I was aiming for each circle 
or thereabouts. I didn't want to hit my other arrow. Um, if you don't believe me, well, that's okay. Uh, we'll see Monday morning. But anyway, that's uh, this is from about, I don't know the exact yardage, I'd say between 12 and 15 yards. Um, so we'll see what happens Monday morning. Have a good one. Family Outdoors. I'll do a great day. God bless.